Hello, St. Andrews, and welcome to this week's edition of Chancel Chat. It's Ash Wednesday afternoon, and it's already been a very, very busy day. We began it with a Eucharist at 7 a.m., followed by a fellowship breakfast in the parish hall. Uh, after that, uh, John Emmanuel and I um, participated in a, in a project sponsored by our diocese called Ashes to Go, and we um, were at, in front of the courthouse in Mount Holly, and we distributed ashes to 70, more than 70 people. And then we had our 1210 uh, Eucharist, and after that I went to Virtual Hospital to distribute ashes. And this evening we're looking forward to our traditional uh, fellowship meal with our friends from St. Paul's Lutheran Church, followed by our final liturgy for the day uh, at 7.30 p.m. this evening in the uh, sanctuary. Uh, looking ahead to this weekend, uh, Friday evening at 6 o'clock, we will um, observe Stations of the Cross here at the, in the sanctuary. We'll do this every Friday evening uh, at 6 o'clock during the Lenten season. And then uh, Saturday morning, um, our youth, our confirmation class, will be traveling to the Kensington section of Philadelphia uh, to visit St. Francis Inn, which is a soup kitchen ministry in Kensington. Uh, the young people will be preparing, serving, and cleaning up after the luncheon uh, that will be served, that is served every day uh, for the uh, homeless population in Kensington. Uh, Saturday morning, uh, our monthly men's breakfast will meet at 8 a.m. at the Route 38 Diner in Mount Holly. This meeting is open to all men of the parish, and we encourage you to come and be a part of, uh, of our monthly men's fellowship. And then uh, Saturday evening, immediately following the Saturday evening service, we will uh, have our community dinner, our monthly community dinner. Doors will open at about 6.15. And so we're looking forward to this opportunity to welcome um, our neighbors to, to come and share a, a great meal and some good fellowship here at St. Andrews. Uh, this weekend, is, we'll be observing the first Sunday in Lent. And as is the tradition in the Episcopal Church, we will be reading the Great Litany at the beginning of each of our three liturgies, weekend liturgies, on Saturday evening at 5 o'clock, Sunday morning at 8 and 10. And the Gospel reading for the first Sunday in Lent is always the story of Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. And this year we'll hear the evangelist Mark's version of that story. So looking ahead to next week, on Wednesday of next week, we'll have our first in our uh, series of Lenten Bible studies. We'll meet at 6 o'clock in the parish hall for a simple soup and bread supper, followed by our Bible study, and we'll be finished by 7.30. So if you're interested in participating, please contact Chris in the parish office and let her know so we know how much soup to prepare for next Wednesday evening. And then Thursday morning at 7 o'clock, we begin our series of Thursday morning Eucharists during the Lenten season. Uh, we gather in the sanctuary for Eucharist, followed by a fellowship breakfast in the parish hall. Uh, one final announcement, uh, we have a vacancy on our vestry that needs to be filled. Uh, the vacancy was created when Frank Marchese was elected warden, and so we're um, opening it up to the congregation, anyone that's interested in filling this vacancy, we would ask that you please prepare a brief paragraph of biographical information and submit it to Chris in the parish office sometime before Sunday, March 4th. Uh, the vestry will meet on, uh, for our monthly meeting on the 12th of, of March, and we will make a decision about who will fill the, that uh, vacancy. And, of course, this is just for one year uh, until our next annual meeting, at which time we will elect uh, a permanent uh, vestry person to fill this position. So if you're interested, please uh, prepare a brief statement, a biographical statement, and submit it uh, uh, sometime before the 4th of March. So that's about all I have for today. Uh, wishing you and your family and those you love and care about a blessed uh, Lenten season, and we will talk again next week. God bless you.